Hello guys, and I'm super excited because The Sims 4 just now had a good update, a very long awaited update. Like, dude, this has been an issue like since January, and that was like eight months ago now, so like, bro, like, dude, that is like, dude, like, I'm, I'm happy, but I'm also surprised that it took this long to fix a freaking issue in The Sims 4. It shouldn't have took this long. <laughs> That's the reason why I'm so surprised, because it took forever for the Sims team to actually fix this. Thank fucking God! Holy crap, this update was long awaited. Especially for console. Like, this, con this, this update was actually, this help like, it helped consoles a lot. Like, a lot. And it's something that I'm very, very, very happy about is the stupid free cam issue finally being fixed after like what like eight seven months and i can't wait to get into the gameplay and actually properly use the free free cam without zooming in and zooming out like or without speeding up the game my fucking god thank god they fixed this shit man it's been it's been an issue since they swapped controls, uh, with the uh, like. It's been an issue since they switched when you hold L two or R two, um, to speed up the game. So before the update, it was like the bumpers. Now it's the twig the triggers. And it was overlapping with the free cam zooming in, zooming in and zooming out. And my god, it was fucking atrocious. Like, it was literally... You could not use the free, free cam. But now you can, because it's actually finally fucking fixed. And it's such... Like, I'm happy, yes. I'm, but I'm sorry, it doesn't take that long to fix this damn issue. It's not that hard to fix, dumbasses. All you have to do... Is literally go into your game, protest it, see what the fuck is the matter with your game, and actually fix it. It doesn't take eight goddamn months to figure out what's going on with the console. I'm sorry, it's been an issue that I've had, been having for eight months, and you guys finally fix it. Holy crap! Congratulations, Sims team, after eight months of a huge issue I've had. And I actually, it was on the game for so long I thought it was intended. Apparently it wasn't. I'm happy, at the, like, at the same time, dude, like, it, it, it's, it's just, I, it's so, like, it, it, it was long awaited, dude. I, I honestly, like, they also added a few new options to the game, but I'm not going to go to those yet. But this update was long awaited. Am I happy? Yes. And no. Yes, because I'm so fucking glad that they finally fixed this. No, because it took them eight months to fix one simple issue. It doesn't take eight months to fix something like that. I'm sorry, it's just... It, 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 it can't be that fucking hard. I'm sorry, like, it, it, it just... It, it, it can't be. It, it just can't not be that freaking hard. But, I, I, oh my god, guys. Like, I read, I didn't even read the whole thing. It's actually fairly short. Um, but, it is what it is. I'm glad that they fixed that fucking issue. That was literally the worst thing that I've experienced while playing The Sims 4. I'm sorry, like, the game is literally, like, you can't, you couldn't have used the free, free cam until this update, unless you're using keyboard or mouse. The free cam on console, when you were to zoom in, zoom out, it was fucking atrocious. What would happen, because they changed the controls a little bit, and I think for the worst, they they changed the controls and they didn't even play test it. So zooming in and zooming out with a free cam is the trigger buttons, and that's exactly what they've done with the speed up 
and slow down controls. Is that they use those as well. And because it, the game is not play tested, they would actually overlap. So when you were trying to zoom in and zoom out, it would actually speed up and s slow down the game, uh, the game speed. And my god, it was such an atrocious mess. I'm so glad that they fixed this, guys. Uh, you guys, like, have no fucking idea. It was literal. it was literally the most atrocious thing I've ever experienced while playing The Sims 4. No joke. I don't think I've experienced anything worse. I'm sorry, like... Werewolves being deformed, I can even stand more than this, because... It's not like all the time when my werewolf sim transforms, they are deformed. It, that's not the case. Um... So, yeah. Thank fucking God that they fixed this. It took them a long-ass time, and I don't think it should have took this fucking long to fix a simple issue. Eight months. It started in, like, February or January. I think it was January. And it's September now. September! So, like, eight months ago. And they finally fixed this issue. Eight months. Eight months. Oh my god, the Sims team, you're fucking slow pokes. Like, I mean, Robot German is also very slow, and unfortunately they did update 60 Seconds on mobile, and they didn't fix the issues. Surprisingly, I thought they were actually going to fix the issues, but they didn't actually fix the issues. I don't think about my phone right now, is my phone actually has a shit ton of viruses, and it's, like, ah, dude, it's really fucking annoying. Like, it's just so annoying. Um, but I am super freaking grateful that they fixed this issue. It took them a long ass time to do it. I like it shouldn't have took that long. It should not have took that long. I'm sorry. It's bullshit. They should have been able, like like maybe a month tops. It should have took them to fix that. I was hoping like after the f first few patches that. Like, after that, they would have fixed it. But, um... It's fixed now, but... I'm not sure if it was, you know... The right call for waiting eight fucking months. That's like... A little over half a year that they took to fix one damn issue that I've had. And I thought it was intentional, because... It was in the game for so long, I thought it was intentional. That's like... <laughs> but no, it turned out not to be. And it took eight fucking months to fix this. What the fuck? Even in Dead by Daylight, they fix things faster. Yeah, I mean, it's a little bit boring. I like the new Alien Killer, and I've been playing it a lot. But jeez. Jeez, oh wheeze. It's not fun to have a freaking game mechanic broken like that. Listen, I'm glad it's fixed, but goddamn, I think it took them way longer than what it needed to. I'm sorry, it took them way longer than they needed to. I'm sorry. They should have fixed it a hell of a lot sooner. It took them forever. Like, bro, like, look at this. Oh my freaking god. And see, and this is exactly what I had in mind. They would probably revamp the controls with the R1, the bumpers, and have it the exact opposite now. Fuck yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. Oh my god, you know, you have no idea how happy I am that's fixed. Way too long to fix it, though. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this time. Peace out. And if you want more Sims 4 content, let me know in the comments.